Hello again, my fellow Fortniters. Who's ready to have more fun with bounce pads and the wind tunnel? Just rocking out to this guitar. Sound like Eddie Van Halen. Look at this finger tapping, it's pretty insane. I just love the Vendetta skin. Introduced in Season 10. Look at Deadpool just looking at me. He's like, what's going on over there? Alright, so we're going to go back to the grotto. I had way too much fun last time. I need to have a little bit more. Let's see if we could find some more crash pads, aka bounce pads. Epic Games calls them crash pads, but I call them bounce pads. We're going over dirty docks right now. Haven't spent much time there recently. That last challenge, location domination, it sent me there ten times. So, uh, let's try and go down here. I don't think I'm going to make it. This was an old favorite entrance of mine. They got the one henchman standing guard here. He's easy to take out. See if I can't. Oh! Shooting at me already. Let's get a little disguise on. I thought I had enough to make a ramp. I was wrong. Aha! You can't see me. I'm in disguise. Alright, let's open up this chest. Ooh! Sniper rifle right out of the gate. Love it. Alright. Let's see. Where did that henchman go? You, sir! How would you like to go up the wind tunnel? First you're going to tell me where Brutus is. There he is. Next you're going to go up the wind tunnel. Get back here, you whippersnapper. The wind tunnel is conveniently located right here. There he goes. Three, two, one. Lift off. Feel like SpaceX. Want to give a shout out to my buddy John, who works at SpaceX. Much props to you, my brother. We used to work at Eaton and Vaco, two other aerospace companies. Eaton unfortunately got bought out by Vaco, and then Vaco wanted me to move an hour and a half away from where I lived, so I moved on. Alright, let's go back down here and see what kind of mayhem we could uh, bring about. We're going to get rid of this generator. Take out all the laser cameras. You know, I should try uh, speaking henchmen when I put the outfit on. It might help me to blend in better. I'm going to do that next time. You, sir! I'm going to require your epic minigun. Thank you and have a nice day. Alright, let's get this disguise on. And here we go. What will? We ha ha ha. We ha ha ha. Alright, I'm done speaking, henchman. That's <laughs> a little bit much. Somebody would, should come up with a uh, henchman dictionary. That'd be kind of funny. We ha ha ha. That means uh, go order me a pizza. Right, that's just crate. Pun intended. Let's open up a few more chests. Ooh, I got a scavenger medal. Here's how you say that in henchman. Uh -huh. Hey, what's going on there, Mickey? Where's Brutus at? I'm gonna name all these guys. Yo, Frito! What you doing up there with the sniper rifle? 
I'm naming all the henchmen. Jimbo. Hold the fort down there, Jimbo. Oh, there's Brutus. The big boss man right there. Look at that. That's a big dude right there. You're not so big now, friend. You're getting the shakedown by Vendetta. That, that's called a fireman's carry, in case you guys were wondering. In wrestling, if you were to fall backwards, that would be very similar to a uh, suplex. Although it is not a suplex. It's also similar to a back body drop. I forget my wrestling uh, terminology. Alright, so we're going back up here again. This time I'm going to land and enjoy the show. What you doing up there, Brutus? I'm going to take him out. Oh, looks like the minigun is in no man's land. Let's see if I can get it before it drops. And as we discovered the last game, once something's down the wind tunnel, it's gone for the rest of the game. Luckily for me, the key card ended up up here. So we're going to claim that in the name of Vendetta. You could say that a few ways. Uh, where I grew up, we just say Vendetta. Or you could uh, over-enunciate Vendetta. You could say it a million different ways. You say it how you want to say it, and I'll say it how I want to say it. Looks like access is granted. You, sir. Was that? That was Jimbo, wasn't it? Or no, that was the guy upstairs. I forgot I'm nicknaming the henchman. I think that was Curtis. I got an uncle named Curtis. Great guy. His nickname is Chip. But uh, only his nieces and nephews can call him that. Alright, let's get up in there. You know... There's something peculiar going on here. I opened the vault. I went to shoot someone. And I came back in the vault and one of the cases was open. Did another player come through here? And then just run off? Because he was scared of my minigun? Everyone's scared of my minigun. I would be too. That thing just spits bullets out like it's nothing. Like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. It's asking me to deploy the retaliator. That's kind of weird. Why, why do I want to open up my glider down here? That's interesting. Maybe I should have done that and seen what happened. Alright, we're going to go up here now. Ah, there's, there's the minigun that I cannot get. I really want it to. Oh, look at the cape is actually veering off to the side. That's kind of funny. The wind tunnel does that to your outfit. Uh, I don't think so today. I got the epic minigun, sir. Oh. Oh, right through the legs. I nutmegged him. Bam. Headshot with the assault rifle. My friends... In basketball, when someone throws a ball through your legs, that is called a nutmeg. That's a very old, very old uh, term. We used to use that in the 70s when we were kids. Who here has been to the Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts? How cool is that? If you have, please leave it in the comments. I want to know. They got old uniforms... Old basketball hoops, old basketballs on a conveyor belt. You could just stand there and shoot hoops all day with vintage basketballs against vintage hoops. How cool is that? Those are some tall dudes. Now, I only stand at about 5'8", so I'm kind of a short dude. All my brothers tower over me. I could still take them all, though, even though they're big guys. Ha ha ha. All right, let's see what we got cooking. Yeah, I wonder how tall my kids are going to be when they're older. That's an interesting prospect. You think they're going to be taller than their old man? 
My dad was about my height, 5'8". His, one of his brothers is super tall. My Uncle Jimmy. Love that guy. All right. Looks like, uh, oh no, he's still here. Oh, I'm attacking him. He almost got me too. Look at that. You know, I've noticed that Shadow Meowskulls is getting uh, a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> That's funny. That's too funny. More fun with bounce pads, my friends. Or crash pads, however you want to call it. Did you enjoy that? I feel kind of bad for him. Deadpool kicks him off the yacht. I'm messing with him. Yeah, take another crash pad. I think I sent him flying somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Up and down and up and back down. And let's see if I can't shoot him out of the sky. Who's the boss? Is it Tony Danza? I think it's Vendetta. I had a uh, an old friend uh, used to work in telemarketing. He called himself the Greek. I, th I think he was Greek. And I remember one day he told us about the word vendetta. He's like, hey, you guys want to hear about a vendetta? And we were just young guys. He was an older dude. I think we're all very intimidated by him. And he explained to us what a vendetta was. It sounds a little bit something like uh, revenge or vengeance or avenging. Speaking of the Avengers, I can't wait for them to come back to Fortnite. Boy, was that a fun event. Remember that from uh, a couple seasons ago? It was, uh, let's see, it was Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. Let me tell you, when they, when they turned that into a movie, I was completely thrilled. I used to have uh, the miniseries, the Infinity Gauntlet. And what was the other one? There was another Infinity miniseries in the comics. I, I can't think of it right now. But uh, I used to have all those comic books. And then who would have known that decades later they would have turned it into like one of the biggest movies ever. I mean, how exciting is that? I used to have so many cool comic books. Who remembers Marvel Zombies? Ah, it breaks my heart that I eBayed those. Those are so cool. They got to make a movie about that, Marvel Zombies. That's an actual comic book. Look it up. And I think they actually they turn the comic books into graphic novels. That's what they do nowadays. They take all the old comics and you can buy them as a set as a graphic novel. You know, it's like 20 bucks. Another one of my favorite uh, comic book series was Exiles, E X I L E S. And there was this dude called the Timekeeper, I believe. And he would just grab different superheroes from different timelines and universes. And he'd put them all together. And that was just that was just really cool. I used to love that one. Exiles is what it was called. So you'd be getting like different versions of the same superhero. Alright, so this game's kind of winding down here. So uh, I hope you guys had uh, more fun with the crash pads, a.k.a. bounce pads, and the wind tunnel. I, I think this might be the last time I do that. I've uh, paid the grotto a few visits. Before the season's out, I want to do a couple other neat little tricks. Um, sometimes I just sit around trying to think of different things. Oh, the rocket launcher. Do I want it? I kind of passed it. I kind of want it, but the storm's coming. You ever do that? You run by something. You don't take it. And look at that. The storm washed over me anyways. Ah, I was hoping for health. Well, I might as well shield up all the way. I am now an agent of shield. I'm going for the uh, rocket launcher. No, I'm not going for it. I'll never make it. I had, I had a double change of heart there. Who remembers that, that uh, TV show, Change of Heart? I used to watch all those uh, reality dating shows. Those were pretty fun. 
I had a couple friends on some of those. That was really fun to watch. Anyone here ever seen a friend of yours on a on a reality show? <laughs> Boy, never let them hear the end of it. Is that mean? That's kind of mean, isn't it? I remember when uh, this dude I used to work for, uh, you might know him, Johnny Rotten from the band The Sex Pistols. Beautiful human being. He was probably one of the best people I ever worked for, uh, aside from my last boss in store fixtures. Bosses, I should say. And then my current boss. Th those people are just completely amazing. Um, I've been so blessed ha working for great people in my life. But, uh, yeah, Johnny Rotten. I remember when he was on uh, on Judge Judy. I remember he was telling me about it. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be on Judge Judy. I was like, oh, that's going to be amazing. It was. If anyone hasn't watched that, you look it up. Um, I can't remember if he went by Johnny Rotten or John Lydon, which is his real name. Oh, took him out. And I only had uh, about 35 health. That was very risky business right there. Tom Cruise would have been impressed. But uh, yeah, look up look up John Lydon, Judge Judy, and have a good time watching that. It's amazing. He's he's such such a smart person. Alright. Let's see here. I would love to find a med kit and heal up. This game's like coming down to a close. And I'm just kind of floating around here with 35 health. That's no kind of good. Yeah, I've had a lot of odd jobs. I moved out here uh, to Hollywood when I was 19 years old with a suitcase and a dream. And, uh, yeah, I did a lot of fun stuff. Made a lot of music. Still making music. Actually did some cool video games, too. I had a song that was on a... Madden 2004. Look it up. Uh, it was my band AM Radio. When you go for a touchdown, my song Taken for a Ride plays. Madden 2004. I also... Uh, I sang some of the songs on a Nintendo game for the DS. It was called Elite Beat Agents. It's like one of those rhythm type games for your Nintendo DS. Um, but I, I sang uh, I sang the Hoobastank song. I sang the uh, Good Charlotte song. And I actually did uh, backups. I wasn't really credited. But uh, I just happened to be there. I have a very high vocal range. And uh, they needed someone with a high vocal range to do some backups. So I did the Queen song and the Peter Cetera song. I just did the high harmonies because they needed those. Funny story about that. I I was called in to do uh, to do leads on the Good Charlotte song, and I just happened to be standing in the hallway singing harmonies to the Peter Cetera song, and the producer walks out. He's like, "Dude, you could hit those notes." He's like, "Come in, sing the backups. We need someone to do it." So it's a, that's just kind of funny when stuff like that comes together. But yeah, when I was a teenager, that was the name of the game. Sing high. <laughs> That's all I tried to do was sing as high as I po Oh, who's this? What do you want? You want some of this? Vendetta! Upon you. Ooh, golden sniper rifle. Definitely need that in my loadout. Yeah, we were all heavy metal guys. So the guitarist, it's like, how fast can you play? The drummer, you know, how much can you do the double bass? And then the singer, how high can you scream? That's that's where I kind of uh, developed my my diaphragm for my vocal ability. Kind of let it go over the years. I, I don't use it all the time like I should. But, you know, put in some practice, it'll come back, I'm sure. Right. I'm trying not to sing over these videos. I don't want to uh, get a copyright claim going for singing someone else's material by mistake. <laughs> that always happens. That Rick Astley song, Never Gonna Give You Up, 
Every time I pull out that darn emote. Copyright claim. Alright, so there's just me and one other person. What's gonna happen here? We had our fun with the bounce pads and the wind tunnel. And now it's just down to the wire. Am I gonna pull it out or am I gonna choke? When you blow a game, that's called choking. I don't know if that, that term is still used or if that's from my time period. Might be an archaic expression. Hydro 16, kids. There's a band name for you. That'd be a good rock band. Here they are. Hydro 16, everybody. Oh, there they are. Ow. They don't even see me. I always get that one split second to take a sniper shot, and I just don't get it. I should be building a wall right here, but I'm not. Now I am. No, nope, they got a good shot at us over. Ow, you placed number two again. I am destined to come in two. Well, out of all the losers, I came in first. Ha ha ha. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun for me. I hope it was a lot of fun for you. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with coming in second. I do it all the time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a great fortnight.